Welcome back to Frawls Garage again. So, I made a purchase uh, this past weekend. I went to Harbor Freight, my usual favorite place, and I picked up this uh, unlimited 140 multi-press S welder. So, a little about me, I've never really welded a day in my life. Uh, about the most I've done is a couple little tacks here with a stick welder when my brother was welding something just to play with it. But, I mean, I've never actually laid a full beat. So, I got it all unboxed and everything. Uh, I have solid core wire in it, but I ain't got a gas tank, so I'm gonna run to town, grab uh, some 7520 gas to put on the back of it so I can get that hooked up. And we're gonna go ahead and try and lay down a few welds and see what I think of it as a first time welder. So I just got back from the store. Uh, I stopped by Harbor Freight again. Uh, got me a welding helmet that they got on sale. Also picked me up some welding gloves while I was there. Uh, we went town also to my local steel place and we got a couple sticks of this flat bar. So I got one here. We're gonna cut two of those pieces off just to make us like a coupon. And then uh, also I went and got the argon tank and everything. Um, it's actually 25, 75s mix in it. So we got that going, we got it set up and hooked up and that stuff ready to go. I also took my grinder and stuff and just kind of ground a clean piece out of this little steel shelf that was for that cabinet and stuff and uh, put the ground clamp and stuff on there just so I have like a little temporary welding table because at the moment I don't have a welding table. In fact, now that I got a welder, that might be a project for me to do is build my own welding table because I look online and they are outrageous on the price, like couple, over a thousand dollars easy for a decent sized one. So we might try to make our own. Uh, so maybe if you want to see a little bit of fabrication stuff, that might be in the future for the channel of just trying to make like tables and stuff like that. I know I'm gonna be doing a cross member and stuff for this truck. So that's gonna be something else we'll be doing in the video. But uh, yeah, so let me go ahead, get these coupons cut and then we will go ahead, get the welding. All right, so to start with on the welder, I know that's eighth inch flat bar. So we're gonna go off the base settings that this list for flat bar. So on the inside of these, they put it here. So uh, material, mild steel, we're using solid wire with 75, 25 gas and a 30 thousandths wire size. So we can go all the way over to eighth inch and it says 260, 18 and a half and between five to 10 on induction. So 18 and a half volts and 260 wire feed speed. All right, so the switch is on the back to cut it on. Right now, they're all just set down low. It's down on 80 on that. So it's a 260 on wire feed speed. So about right there. And 18 and a half on volts. So we got that set up to the base settings that they list again. I've never welded before, so I'm not sure if that's the best settings or not, but that's what we're gonna start with. And I might make some adjustments from there. Uh, it don't list this in the manual for it, but I just went online and looked and see what I should run the gas at. So like I said, this is 2575 uh, gas and CO2 and brand new bottle. But I looked online and it said to set it around 30 CFM. So that's where we have it. So let's go over here and we'll go ahead and get started. Everything should be set up and ready to go. All right, so I have these little like magnets here. So we'll, I use that to hold the metal for me. I'm kind of going to weld this at a 90 on each other to kind of make my own angle iron. And that's where we'll start. All 
All right, so as you see there, that's pretty much my first ever weld. I don't think it's too bad. So that's going to be like an inside corner there. And I think it came out pretty decent. That's going to hold a lot of things. Uh, so let's try a couple other ways. So I'm going to try to just lay a flat bead inside here and see how that comes out. Again, so now that's a flat bead. Again, I had a little stringer for that excess that popped off when I first started, but you can just knock that off with a wire brush or something probably. But yeah, again, I don't think it looks too bad. I mean, I'd be happy with that if I saw that underneath my truck compared to a lot of things I see other people do. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and challenge myself. I want to do an outside corner and try to weld the outside of these together. Again, I had a little, again, I had a little stringer pop off there. Uh, like I said, you can just knock those off with a wire brush or something. Uh, again, I don't think it looks too bad for never welding before. Hopefully my helmet ain't been getting in the way. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And as far as it looks, it looks like it's penetrating. I try to see, hopefully see he's good, but looks like good penetration down deep in there. It might be laying on top just a little bit, but again, I mean, that's a lot better welds than I see most people do on mine. Most ones I see, see like exhaust shots too. Oh, that's bad. Look like popcorn laying on top of my exhaust a lot of times. You can see the penetration from that one I did on the flat section. I mean, you can see kind of where the weld laid out on it. Yeah, I mean, for me doing the normal method, I think that's more than good enough to hold up for like my trans cross member and stuff like that. I mean, let me go, guys, know what you think. If you looked up underneath your truck and had somebody make a cross member, would you be happy with uh, wells like those two? If you saw them on there? All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap this up. Uh, I said, let me know down below what y'all think of about those welds like i said uh i'm not so much worried about the weave that was me playing around and just trying to do the weave like i see some people do but uh no the, as far as my regular push welds like i did in the corners and stuff let me know if you went and had a trans cross member made or even if just like an exhaust shop or something like that if you went up underneath your truck and you saw those kind of welds um how would you feel about seeing it uh do you think i mean you'd be happy with those welds on the parts of your truck or not let me know down in the description uh or sorry not description comments but uh yeah uh any tips tricks let me know but like i said i'm learning um i'm sure there's gonna probably be some people that might want to flame me in the comments about my welds uh because if you ever look through all those tiktok little videos and youtube short videos of people welding i mean there's some real nice stuff and people absolutely slam them like they personally have welded empire state building trusses together themselves and are the best thing in the world and i mean if you want to do that fine go ahead but uh i rather prefer constructive criticism so yeah guys that's gonna wrap this video up thanks again as always for watching and we'll keep continuing to grow uh with more tools and be able to do more stuff and build better things have a good one guys